Hey guys, Drifter here. Welcome to Sniper Ghost Warrior 3 In-Depth. In today's episode, we're going to be covering recoil mechanics. And I want to give a shout out to CI Games that sent me the info for this episode so that I could do the recoil mechanics in depth. And just so you know, this episode is actually sponsored by CI Games. And there's a link down there in the description that links you to the season pass of this game. And of note, I'm playing on the PlayStation 4 version instead of the PC version. The gameplay you're going to get to see is me clearing out a base mostly with my AK-47 because sometimes things go wrong, you get spotted, you can't snipe, you can't stealth, and you just have to go guns a blazing. So the first fact that I need you to know is that all bullets in Sniper Ghost Warrior 3 are projectiles. There are no hit scans in this game like Call of Duty. The sniper bullets are far slower than normal for effect. It's designed to give you the feeling of leading your shots and kind of seeing them and you will miss targets when they're moving. However, assault rifle bullets travel very fast. I believe that this speed was increased so that you have a nice consistent feel when you're inside of assault rifle range. But do keep in mind that at distance you may need to lead your targets. There are two recoil mechanics we're going to talk about today. Number one is sway, which is essentially how much your gun wobbles. When you aim down sights and sit still for a certain period of time, your gun will wobble. It mimics the natural breathing of a human being, the natural subtle movements in your hand and your shoulder muscles when you're holding a heavy weapon, and the amount can cause you to miss. Crouching will reduce your sway by 40%, and I strongly recommend crouching before shooting the vast majority of the time. However, if you go prone, you can reduce sway by 60%. Prone, I don't find to be as useful because I, I kind of move and shoot and my old Call of Duty habits come back, but I do believe that it is beneficial. Scopes are your friends in this game because they allow you to see at longer distances and shoot more accurately, but do keep in mind that adding any scope to any weapon will increase the amount of sway you have by 5%. I consider this a negligible amount, but some of you may not, so I thought that it would be important for you to keep in mind. I do have some good news for you. All bullets do travel exactly where your sights are when you're aim down sights. There's no battlefield style invisible aim down sights box. And the mechanic I'm talking about here applies to Battlefield and Arma and several other milsim kind of games to where when you're aiming down sights, you're not actually shooting exactly precisely where your crosshairs are and there's still a degree of uncertainty to it. Sniper Ghost Warrior doesn't have that. Whatever your crosshairs are looking at, that is where the bullets are going to go and you don't have to deal with any sort of additional uncertainty. However, when you're going in fully automatic recoil or semi-automatic should you choose, each shot is going to add a certain amount of kick. It's measured in degrees and with each degree it can bounce left, right, up, down, just kind of depending on how the gun is programmed. There are multipliers for first shot recoil. The majority of the weapons will kick more on the first shot as you are uh, acclimating to the amount of recoil, but there's a few of them that have really low first shot recoil for accuracy and your recoil can change over time. They programmed in variables to where some guns will kick more or some guns will kick less depending on how long you hold down the fully automatic fire. The last variable to keep in mind is steady time, which is how long you need to rest for the weapon to return to center, and thankfully in this game that doesn't take very long. The weapons return to center relatively quickly, except for maybe the AK, that one's a bit slow, but the rest of them will return to center very, very quickly and resemble shooting mechanics from almost every other game you've played. Sway is the most important recoil component in sniper rifles because you're going for one-shot kills. You can't afford to miss this first shot. There's oftentimes a long delay. You're not doing a lot of quick follow-up shots, so recoil doesn't matter as much. And the best low-sway sniper rifles in the game are the Knight 110, the Dragoon SVD, and the ES-25. If you want really pinpoint accuracy at super long ranges, those are the way to go. But do keep in mind, not all of those are very high damage or quiet sniper rifles. Recoil, or kick, is the most important factor for assault rifles, though. In the middle of a firefight, you're often going to be going fully automatic with assault rifles. You're going to be shooting people, you're going to be hosing, you're going to need to put out a lot of follow-up shots, so the lower your recoil, the better. And when it comes to recoil, no other assault rifle beats the Herstal. The Herstal is the lowest recoil assault rifle by far, and then the next best one is the Gale Force Long. Well guys, that's all for this episode of In-Depth. I hope that you learned something useful. If you did, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Drifter out.